In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Writing Test 7, Section 2. We're on the fourth and final passage. Was the hoax a hoax? For an hour in the evening of October 30th, 1938, Orson Welles and other performers from the Mercury Theater flooded the airways with alarming news bulletins about a Martian invasion supposedly occurring in Grover's Mill, New Jersey. They were performing a radio play adapted from The War of the Worlds, a science fiction novel, by H.G. Wells. The next day, a front page headline in the New York Times declared, radio listeners in panic taking war drama as fact. And so question 34, the first one, this is just testing punctuation. A front page headline in the New York Times declared, and then we've got the title of the article. And this actually does come up sometimes. And here's the point, if you ever, leading into a quote, a quotation, you need a comma. So declared, comma, and then we've got the quotation. So this one is correct as is. I'll give you one exception to this. If you ever see the word that, think about essential clauses. He claimed that, and then you see a quote, you don't have a comma. That's the only time. Actually, I've seen it in one other test, but any other word besides of that, you need the comma. So the answer for 34 is A. The Times article claimed that people had fled their homes and that police stations had been swamped with calls. So 35, let's take a look at this question. The writer wants to add a supporting detail to indicate the story was widely reported. Which choice best accomplishes the, this goal? And so here, the Times article claimed that people had fled their homes and police stations had been swamped. Is that evidence that the story was widely reported? No. We just Again, evidence-based writing wants some evidence that it was widely reported. Let's look at the choices. Other newspapers also ran stories claiming the broadcast had incited mass hysteria. This looks good, right? It's nothing about the 75th anniversary of the broadcast, the most popular news sources. No, it also ran stories that the broadcast, other newspapers, had incited mass hysteria. So this one is be a pretty straightforward question. The versions of events persisted, and the legend became that Wells' broadcast had as many as 12 million people who feared that Martians had invaded Earth. So here, 12 million people who feared. Why do we need this relative pronoun here? Who feared or that feared? Again, when we're connecting it here, when we're giving extra information about these people, you can just change the version of the verb and use this ing read it now as many as 12 million people fearing that martians had invaded earth and so this one is c all right let's take a look at 37. recently however scholars have questioned the accuracy of this legend suggesting the degree of public hysteria has been grossly exaggerated the authors of an article published in october 2013 go so far to assign blame for the distortion of the newspaper industry. This looks like an idiomatic qu question here. The authors of the article go so far to assign. So again, these are kind of tricky because you never memorize all the potential idioms, but you really have to test it. Go so far, you need one more preposition here, you mean it as. They go so far as to assign. And in that, again, it's tricky. The answer here is D, you just have to kind of work it out. And let's do one more and we'll stop, or actually we'll do two more. We'll do 38 and 39 at the end of this next paragraph. At this time, Jefferson Pooley and Michael Sokolow, both professors of communication studies, argue that the newspaper industry sought to discredit the newly emerging technology of radio, which was cutting into newspapers' profits. And so here, let's look above. So we have the authors of the article. They go so far as to assign blame for the distortion of the industry. And then they're giving more information really about this article, aren't they? The, they're, Pooley and Sokolow, they're professors. They argue that the newspaper industry sought to discredit. This is just a furtherance of the article here. So you just have to be careful. It's not at this time. It's in the article, right? So we've got the article here, and then we have more details. So it's in the article for this one. Just be careful on those. And we'll do one more, and we'll stop this video. We'll do 39. Sought to discredit the newly emerging technology of radio, which was cutting into newspapers' profits. 
the newspaper industry tried to do this by portraying the new medium as irresponsible. So we want to combine these sentences, and it looks to be repetitive already. You see newspaper industry and newspaper industry. We want to just connect it without the period. And so, again, remember we had earlier, I'm just going to scroll back up, when we had 12 million people, we had fearing the Martians. This is similar to that. And so here which was cutting into the newspaper's profits. How do we connect it? We can use a preposition in this ING by portraying the new medium as irresponsible. It's definitely the most concise and it works grammatically as well. The answer here is D.